What? What? Hello, ladies, it's Veronica. Welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, let me explain the situation that's going on around here, on my hair. I've done my curls, I pinned them up, and they're cooling at the moment. So I thought, I'll do lip swatches, because I purchased something from eBay. 12 lip glosses, so I thought, why not? Because I like my hair up anyway, if I'm doing lip swatches so it doesn't get in the way and you know, things are just a lot easier. So I thought, it doesn't look that bad, so I thought, why not? And what I have for you today is the Imagic Professional Cosmetics Beauty Lip Gloss. So this is how they look. They are, I think, I think it's an acrylic bottle. Nicely packaging. They were only £1.29 each. They have numbers on the bottom, they don't have names of the colours, but what I'll do, I'll do insert images of me wearing them, so swatches. I won't do videos, but I'll insert images and every image will have, fingers crossed, I can actually find the colours. But yeah, so that's how they look, they're emulator bottles. They vary in, they don't have a consistent consistency, so they vary in that. So the finish is a little bit different with each of them, which is really, really strange. But, um, yeah, I've been really enjoying them, so what I'll do, I'll finish for now, and in I insert the J uh, JPEGs, images, JPEGs, uh, I insert the images, and then I'll let you know at the end what I actually think about them. Number one that I have is, that's how it looks, so quite a nice light colour. I don't particularly like this one, it's pat it's quite patchy, I mean, it's a nice colour, why do I go that way? So it's a quite nice colour, but it's very very streaky when applied, and I had to do two coats, so I wasn't too impressed with this particular one. Uh, the consistency is quite... It's not really like a lip gloss, it's more in between a, like a liquid lipstick, more to a liquid lipstick. And this particular one I don't think smells of anything. I mean, it's a doffer applicator. It, the packaging is really lovely, it's a lot of product. I had to dip into that one twice, but this is the next one and it's more of a sort of a nude color. This one was a little less streaky, so applied quite well, a little bit sheerer. So it's just there. I did enjoy this one, so that was number two. Number three, I really, really liked because it went into sort of like a more nude. And this one was so easy to apply. It was comfortable. It, it you know, they smell quite like alcohol, but, you know, I'm guessing that one that's one of their um, ingredients. So I really enjoy that one. The other one that I have is number four, and we're going into the deeper shades now. I am very, very bad with describing shades. This also applied quite nicely. It's going more into the brown tones, so that we can put that on there. Number five. So, it's got coral brown, reddish brown. So just there and I did enjoy this one as well number six I didn't enjoy number six at all um, it was different consistency again a bit more liquidy it's just there it's a really nice sort of like a oh, well, so, so, going into pinks now and um, it just didn't didn't stay put didn't really work so I didn't enjoy that one with the darker colors that we're coming into now, they are a little bit more difficult to work with, but this is more of a, again, a pink. It applied well. It's just that it's a beautiful color. I did enjoy this one. Now number eight is your traditional pink. This 
uh, one is a little bit more thicker than the other one so they do vary in consistency it was a little bit more difficult to take off as well then I have number nine which we, you know we are going into the deep colors now and I do I really enjoy the color it's beautiful still like a deep pink it's absolutely stunning it just has this heavy feeling on my lips so I don't know if I can go past that so it's rather orangey red and again these are nicely pigmented they really I only needed to use one dip it, it was lovely it was just a heavy feeling and number 11 so it, these are the this is the really deep tones oh it's, it's like a cherry purple Oh, cherry purple, cherry magenta, just there. And I really enjoy this color, it's beautiful. The problem I have, again, it's the heaviness of it. You only needed one swatch, but it did feel quite heavy on my lips. And then the last one, it's, oh, it's difficult. It has got red in it, brown, sort of terracotta. And why did I go the other way? So that we are just there. Beautiful, absolutely stunning color. But again, the heavy feeling on my lips. So what it is, is that when you go towards the end, so from 10 to 12, oh no, 8 to 12, they a little bit more thicker formula, they a little bit more heavier, but you only need one dip. It's, you know, they nice, nice enough. Um, these two, so one and two, were very streaky, very light, so you had to dip in twice, and then the range in the middle from 3 to 7, Again, six, I didn't enjoy. I can't remember why, I think it was quite streaky. And then the other four, which is three, four, five, and seven, I did really enjoy and I'll be wearing. So, and I think three will be a favorite of mine. So yeah, overall, I will leave links below. Overall, I, for £1.29, I think I paid £15 with shipping for all 12. So it was a bargain. And I mean, they're drying already, so they dry matte most of them um i will do a day test on one of them i think one of the uh, darker ones i do like the colors i mean what else could i tell you about it they don't smell they, as i said they smell a little bit like sort of alcohol but um you know if it's one of the ingredients is then that, that's how they would smell i think if i left the number one yeah, number one won't be my shade. It's just that it doesn't even show up on the camera quite, very well. It's very, like, it's it's strange. It's just got, like, corals in it, but nude. So it just doesn't look good on me. It doesn't look good on my lips, I think. But you'll see, you've probably seen that in the swatches. And they're, they're drying quite quickly. Not as quick as I would like, but quite quickly. Some of the... I know why I didn't like six now. It was tacky. It was like you could feel it really, you put your lips together and you could feel it really tacky. Uh, and some of the darker ones did that as well. It just depends. I mean, if I was looking for something to buy and try out, I would possibly, if I found this on e eBay, I would snatch them. Like this, I don't think I'll be keeping all of the shades, but I'll definitely keep some of them. So, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed my little video. Thank you very much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And subscribe if you wish. I would love that. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.